say top billing top billing yo top billing to you okay swarm nation your boy murph back up in the building the underground king talking about who could bridge the gap for my main man jeff collins in his first initial offering on the flats i think it could be one mike sanford whose power spread approach yields some really good results and incorporates a lot of option into it you know you're gonna have to run a little bit of option with this team because it's built that way you have like three nfl running backs a host of big receivers who can block guys who can get down the field got little tiny man linemen though so you're gonna have to in my opinion create extra gaps to be able to compete with the style of play that i think jeff collins wants to run right Tell me this type of concept won't work for what tech has already in his personnel. You got or orbit motion right here by the Z receiver. Going to have an inside zone, uh, at least a shell of it. A lot of zone flow here from the lineman. But check what happens next. Orbit motion. All right, you see right there, that can always act as some type of read, which it is right now. So you're reading. Force player right here coming off the edge. He squeezes down. You're going to want to keep the ball and then continue on your path. Keeps the ball. Now, look at this. This isn't the next wave of Georgia Tech. Have a potential blocker right here for the turn back pursuit. But he passes that bad boy. Getting the players involved that way. Come on, man. Tobias Oliver couldn't do that. He couldn't pass that bad boy right there to Malachi Carter coming in motion or somebody like that or one of the remaining a backs maybe like a cultural you turn him into a pure receiver endless possibilities so something that's going to have to be worked out is the presence or lack thereof of tight end slash h backs there are definitely some out there on the recruiting trail and you're gonna to have to get on them bad boys fast but at the very least right now if you were to run in a concept like this see what you're gonna have here is an opposite pulling guard Coming right here, you're gonna have your H back slash tight end. He's going to come with a shovel. Shovel option. This is another thing that I could definitely see Georgia Tech being able to do right here. Um, the thing about this is, suppose this particular player was another one of the B backs who used to run it on the inside. Maybe you have Jerry Howard here, Jordan Mason here, something of the sort right there. But this could be a play that could be very tough to stop stop because it's an option as as we know here at swarm nation all right same thing right here you're pulling that this could be a read which it is uh you can very well hand that bad boy off right there and that just acts as a counter but look at that tell me that's not beautiful that's the next wave i'll be honest with you if paul johnson could have incorporated these type of principles or concepts into his particular scheme, man, he would have been unstoppable. He just needed to add something and kind of evolve the scheme and not have it be the same for uh, 37 years. So, see right there, get a nice gainer right there, and that's with their type of players. So, one more time, opposite pulling guard. Could be a power read, depending on what's going on. You can see a power read version of this, but this one right here takes the pitch. Nice blocking on the inside. So, going to have to get off that cut blocking. You're going to have to be able to man up, have friction blocks in as well. So some of these 265 pound linemen, I know that people are going to want to put weight on them, but more than likely these guys probably can't hold weight like that. So it's going to be the next two, next two recruiting cycles at the very least to be able to turn this into something that Coach Collins can really truly work with the way he wants to. But you have to go by what you have right now. And you have pretty good players on the team right now. Just got to be able to function with those players. Another thing that Tech is used to most definitely you get the trade game right there. And then you're going to have motion as well. So if we look at this right here, endless possibilities just from this as far as the option goes. You can you can read, have a tap pass going right there. Have your H back or whomever the blocker would be leading up for him. That could be one of this. Or you can have him coming by on jet motion. You can hold that bad boy. Do some type of power read. Endless possibilities. You're going to hear me keep saying that because I think that's where, where tech is at right now with this program. It's going to need endless possibilities to really function. All right. See that power running that power inside zone, able to follow right there. Nice block on the edge and man on the line of scrimmage. 
Uh, let's go back a little bit. Same thing. Obviously pulling guard. Right there, that could be play action. He could definitely put that in the belly of the beast, drop back with the pass, just like he's mimicking right here. Being able to have a streak going downfield, some type of non route, and be all good. Endless possibilities, but good blocking right there. I'm telling you, man, you cannot see Sanford's scheme and not see the next wave of what Tech could do. All right, just the regular run game. You're going to have counter OH right here, opposite pulling guard. Going to have H back as well. Pulling around, going to have a skip counter motion for rhythm right here by the back coming around as well. Eventually, he's going to get the edge and be out the back gate. See that zone flow? Leverage blocks right here on the zone getting down. No need for cutting. Opposite pulling guard, H back going. In man on the line of scrimmage, him with the lead through. Back just has to have some good vision. Look at that. Move the chain. Powerful. Tech tough. Say it with me now. Tech tough. It's going to be some real physical football going on out there, even more so than it was in the past, and you're going to be tech tough. All right, let's check this out from a different angle here. This is actually kind of a pin and pull. If you want to help out your linemen and you don't feel like you can compete up front, a lot of traps, uh, a lot of multi-gap blocking, Different things like that could definitely help you out right there. So you see a pin action right there, the pull coming around. Same thing right here. Creating that alley that we like. Counter action right there. Seal off block. Great stuff. Pin action right there. Everybody get it. Running back has to have the wherewithal, be able to make the first guy miss, outrun him. And we know Georgia Tech has guys like that, like you wouldn't believe. Howard, Mason, Benson, a whole bunch of guys, even some of the guys in, coming in the 2019 class. So with that being said, man, Mike Sanford is a hope. You know, I think the guy can recruit. He was uh, one of the brightest young stars just two seasons ago before he got the Western Kentucky job. Uh, him coming into the house with a Georgia Tech logo on his uniform, uh, the guy can sell. He's already with one of the best recruiters in the business, and Jeff Collins, that will be awesome. But even then, uh, the re the offensive coordinator that Jeff Collins had at Temple does a lot of the same concepts as well, and maybe that might be more of a natural fit, but they definitely have to go to some of these concepts to help out Georgia Tech, so... All right, just let me know in the comment section, Swarm Nation, some of the guys you would like to see at offensive coordinators. Mike Sanford is somebody you want to see there. If you have a uh, name of your own, uh, some of the guys was hitting me up talking about keeping the triple option, and I'm not totally opposed to that. It wouldn't be my number one thing, but I don't think Jeff Collins wants to do that, so we'll see. But, man, let's chop it up, you know? Follow your boy at Murph Baldwin on Twitter. But holla at your boy right here in the comment section, man. Your boy Murph, the underground king. Thank you for watching Top Billing Sports, and I am out. What more can I say? Top Billing. Top billing.